Kicking it off old school, Cuba has a 99.8% literacy rate, one of the highest in the world. Number two on our list, Fidel Castro. This guy didn't play games. Not even board games if they rewarded capitalism. When he seized power, one of his first decrees was to destroy all Monopoly games. Corner the market and utilities. You can't lose. Number three, because there aren't enough cars, government vehicles are legally required to pick up any hitchhiker. Gosh, and I thought calling an Uber was scary. Number four, want to know how great Cuban cigars are? Here, President Kennedy's advisor, Pierre Salinger, tells the story about the night JFK, who loved Cuban stogies, asked him to get as many as he could. How'd you do? I said, I did very well, Mr. President. How many did you get? I got 1,200. Fantastic. He opens up his desk drawer and he pulls out the decree banning all Cuban products from the United States and signs it. <laughs> <laughs> and at number five, Fidel Castro is such a huge fan of John Lennon that he decided Havana needed a park named after the former Beatle. And so he had a bronze sculpture of him commissioned. Though, when you hear he loved Lenin, you have to wonder if he was thinking of communist icon Vladimir Lenin. No bueno. And that's five things you didn't know about the once and future vacation destination, Cuba.